In this video, we will see regarding how to operate the dialysis machine and how to initiate the dialysis. Starting from switching on the machine. This is the fresh initiation machine. Once we switch on, the power supply is already connected to the socket. After which, the senior dialysis technologist, Mr. Krishna Kumar, is demonstrating the video for the video today. He have switched it on. Once the machine is switched on. It will go for a auto testing mode. He is taking now the coupler and putting it to the respective chamber. Part A which is the electrolytes, part B which is the bicarbonate. The two cans, the white cans, he have connected it to the respective coupler to the respective can. And now he press it the test mode for the machine. Once the test mode button is pressed, the machine will go for a auto checkup of all its parameters like blood leak alarm, ultra filtrate pump bypass functioning so it will take few minutes as you see here once that auto check is completed the column will change into green color i will show you the main screen over here i think you are able to see it the test is going for now Starting from battery, blood leak, temperature, individual parameter is being checked so that it makes sure the machine is fully ready and there is zero chance for any error. Side by side you can see the other lights are also moving up and down. Basically it is going for an auto check. Meanwhile we will see what are all the things which are required to initiate the dialysis. First is the dialyzer. Based on the patient body surface area the dialyzer is being selected. Next is the tubing. This is the dialyzer as I told you before. As per the patient body surface area, we have selected the dialyzer. Normal saline for priming. And the IV set to connect it to the tubings. And some syringes, heparin. And today the patient who is going to get the dialysis is having AV fistula. So dialysis catheter is not required because we are going to cannulate the fistula and the fistula cannulation needle is kept over the bed. Meanwhile we will come back to the screen. Still the auto check process is going on. Once the individual step is completed, the column will change into green color. Probably this video is going to be somewhat lengthier because we try to cover all the steps individually. We didn't cut the video. Meanwhile, the normal saline bottle along with the IV set being connected to the stand which is attached to the dialysis machine. The dialyzer pack have been opened and connected to the dialysis machine. It is just a holder. Just open it and put the dialyzer. Now he is opening the tubing set. This tubing set was the one usually the even the dialysis technologist in the beginning of the career they used to get confused. See there are two tubing sets separately. To clear the confusion it given in a color. Red color will be connected to the red color color side of the dialyzer indicating it is a arterial circuit nothing but it takes the blood this circuit takes the blood from the patient to the dialyzer so that is called as the arterial circuit in this only you can see the pump segment now this tubing you have seen we have connected one end to the dialyzer our postgraduate resident is touching the thick part of the tube to show that tube which is going inside the pump is somewhat thicker than the other part 
now he is connecting it to the pump there is the button which adjust the rotation of the pump now it is connected to the pump make sure these tubings don't touch the floor on any dirt material over there it have to be kept in a sterile way since it is going to come in contact with the patient blood the normal saline is being connected to the tubing system through one of the port given over there and there is a separate port for heparin before the pump now normal saline which is being connected over there is being opened up so that the tubings will start getting filled with the normal saline so once the test process is done next is the priming now the test process is going on that's why he is saying after the test the step is to prime here is the port where normal saline is being connected there is another port for heparin that is also being flushed with normal saline then the saline which is coming from the bottle is entirely filling up the tubing system now these are the air chambers kept on both the side one is on the arterial side another one is on the blue color tubing side that we not yet connected that will be connected soon as you see here that air chambers got filled with normal saline the purpose of this air chamber is to trap any air bubbles so that it won't enter into the dialyzer also and once the blood comes out of the dialyzer it won't enter the patient also otherwise it cause air embolism now we have taken the another set of tubings blue colored one which is the venous system meanwhile the patient came the blue color system is also being connected to the dialyzer now it is being connected into the air detector because from the venous circuit it enters the patient body so we have to be sure that air is not in in the tubing or in the blood otherwise it might cause air embolism now the normal saline which we have used have filled up the dialyzer and it started coming out of the dialyzer as you see in the screen few columns are getting changed to green color indicating the auto check is getting completed the pump being kept at a low speed with the speed the normal saline is being circulated ideally one to two bottles of saline might be required to flush the dialyzer completely otherwise there is a chance patient will develop some kind of dialyzer reaction regarding the exact quantity and all i will put a dedicated video separately for that now here we are showing the normal saline that we have used started coming on the venous side the dialyzer got filled up in the video the image is not clear but in the real time we could able to see the dialyzer being filled with the normal saline and on the other side the normal saline came up <coughs> now the blue colored marker tubing is being filled with the normal saline so this end which he handling is be will be connected to the patient will be returned the blood after entering the dialyzer will be returned through that side now we are making sure the normal saline have flushed all the part of the tubings as you increase the speed on this side the rate of circulation of normal saline will increase now you can see the 
normal saline which is coming on the other side we have connected it to the right side of the tubing now the saline came on the other end meanwhile in the screen the auto check is complete it came to the next step which is priming The dialyzer should be flushed adequately with the saline. Now both the ends are being connected. Now we have to set the dialysis parameters. How much duration you want to give, how much water you want to remove from the patient and all other parameters. Before that one important step is the dialysate side have to be connected to the dialyzer. Only we have connected the blood circuit. The senior dialysis technology is now tapping the dialysis out to remove any air inside the dialyzer whatever the air which is trapped inside the dialyzer will come out this step is also very important otherwise there is a chance of low clearance now he is taking the dialysis dialysate couplers now he is opening the cap in the Fresenius machine it is kept on the side now he took the coupler connected it to the respective slots of the dialyzer now the dialysate tubing is also connected blood tubing is also connected now you can see the dialysate is being filled in the dialyzer I hope you are able to see there so now the dialysate is also filled in the blood circuit is also complete now we are going to set the parameters the conductivity parameters pressure parameters are being set to the particular level or whatever the level it is being there it is being displayed next we are going to connect the heparin pump This is the air detector. This is also kept in position. How to set it? You can see there. The tubing will be taken. There is a small lock mechanism which have to be kept in position. Till that time blood goes in the circuit, the machine won't detect it as dialysis. Now it will be calculated as priming only. So now the entire system is ready. The patient will be cannulated after setting the heparin. Heparin being taken and will be connected to the heparin pump. The dosing as per the individual patient depends on the vial composition of heparin. The technologist who are starting dialysis have to be very clear about the dose with which he have loaded the syringe. Now the heparin pump is kept in place. Heparin is connected to the port in the tubing of the arterial circuit. Heparin pump heparin pumps displays just above it. The rate can be adjusted. Just we are showing here the composition of heparin. Now the heparin pump is also connected. This is the syringe. And the heparin pump being connected. You can see the display the rate of heparin infusion can be adjusted over there at what ml per hour you want to give as per the predefined prescription the dose can be adjusted so this is the heparin circuit or heparin pump controller parameters
at what interval to be given at what dose to be given those parameters are being set right now on the left side you can see the pump speed which is 180 there are two arrows one is up and one is down with which you can control the speed of the pump already the apparent bolus is being given now the machine is all set it is giving some red color light indicating the blood is not yet detected in the blood detector once the blood is detected in the blood detector the dialysis will start for that we have to cannulate the patient and bring the blood into the arterial circuit so once testing priming and the start so now the machine is almost set to take up the patient for dialysis initially testing then preparing the materials priming then dialysis circuit connection apparent pump all the tubings are set in now connecting it to the patient the most important thing have to be remainder at this point to the dialysis technologist is flushing the dialyzer adequately even a new dialyzer might also cause allergic reaction or the old one because of the preservative it might cause some allergic reaction that point have to be taken care of now the patient is being cannulated the patient is having AV fistula that will be being cannulated now the pump is rotating at a slow speed to keep the normal saline in rotation for some time I think hereafter I can't show because once the blood and blood related items comes in the video YouTube might not allow it to be published or some copyright issue or some issue happens at least during my upload so I am stopping it over there these two connections red and blue wire now red wire will be connected to the patient it will take the blood from the patient and blue will return it now the parameters are being set how many hours how much water to be removed everything is set the fistula is already cannulated there are two needles connected to the patient now the pump is being stopped for a final few seconds till the time we are connecting it to the patient so the first tubing the red color is being taken and connected to the patient's AV fistula now the blood will start entering the circuit now the start button have been pressed pump speed is being increased the initial bolus of apparent being given as you see the tubings are getting the red in color i think i have to stop over here i hope you got the details of dialysis now and the tubing i hope at least the medicine residents or the nephrology residents who are in the beginning of their career have got a few idea about how to start the dialysis starting from machine switching on the machine till rotation of the blood pump because most of the residents as you enter the dialysis posting patient are already connected so many a resident 